The Reactor Hour story begins in the 1980s with a company called Spectratech Incorporated that was founded by Don Sting, one of the key inventors of the FTIR accessory. At that time, FTIR analysis of liquid samples was a difficult task, especially analyzing compounds in water. Spectratech developed a device based on attenuated total reflectance, otherwise known as ATR, called the circle cell that quickly became the established accessory for liquid FTIR measurement. Later in the 1980s, they also developed and commercialized the IR Plan FTIR microscope, which became the leading technique for FTIR microanalysis. Alan Rhine, a former member of the Merck Process R&D team, developed a vision that became React IR. He proposed that by integrating a horizontal ATR sensor in the bottom of the glass reaction vessel, the reaction could be monitored in real time. In 1991, a prototype of the React IR was introduced at the PitCon conference. The new product called React IR 2000 consisted of two fixed infrared sampling sites, each with a reaction vessel with a hole in the bottom where a horizontal ATR sensor was integrated. The original mirror-based conduit and two-bounce zinc selenide, amtier zinc sulfide rooftop probes were released in 1993. The infrared light was sent from the system to the sensor via a K6 conduit, six mirrors, two hollow tubes, and three joints allowing for maximum degrees of freedom to position the system and sensor. However, the original probe tube was glass, which was very easy to break. So the probe design was changed to a metal, 316 stainless steel, probe tube. The issue with any of the sensor materials was sensitivity to pH range. One sensor could not handle the entire pH range so the three were used. While the release of the React Air 2000 identified an untouched market for reaction analysis, the system was considered to be too large. In early 1994, React IR 1000 was launched. In addition, our first diamond probe was also released, a small single diamond in a glass probe that was installed with Jim Leach at Arkansas's Eastman site. Throughout 1993 and 1994, Don Sting and Milan Milosevic developed, perfected, and patented what we call the DICOMP probe. It became clear that React IR was quickly becoming a standard tool for process development chemists and engineers. However, using reaction analysis based on infrared spectroscopy still proved difficult when obtaining accurate real-time trend and quantitative information. During the mid-1990s, we introduced a software program called CONCERT, Concentration in Real Time. The CONCERT algorithm dissects information in a reaction data set and determines component trends versus time. Mettler Toledo releases a replacement laboratory product to the React IR 1000 called React IR 4000. Reactor 3.0 was a transformation from its DOS-based predecessor application to Windows. Integration of CONCERT and visualization tools such as an improved 3D reaction plot allowed chemists and engineers to more easily analyze their data. The first fiber optic conduit sampling technology was developed for React IR. The Chalcogenide C1 fiber probe made it easier for users to integrate the probe into the reactor as opposed to the bulky mirror-based articulated conduits. React IR IC10 was the smallest React IR to date. The small footprint saved valuable space and fume hoods and made it easily transportable from lab to lab or even hood to hood. Still based on MCT technology, React IR IC10 provided the same level of performance as its predecessors. ICIR was a revolutionary development in reaction analysis software. Wizard guided setup enabled non-spectroscopists to easily and correctly set up React IR and collect the best possible data for the most optimum reaction information. First introduced in the release of ICIR version 1.0, Concert Live is the real-time version of Concert. The concentration of each reaction species is automatically collected and profiled as the reaction data is collected. All of this is done without any user input or interaction. A replacement to the C1 fiber probe was the Silver Halide AGX with the familiar bell style connector as used with the C1 fiber. The AGX provided increased sensitivity and even greater flexibility and robustness than the C1 fiber. A further improvement in the AGX fiber probe was the development of the DS style. The DS connector eliminates any need for rotational alignment, so it's plug and play, 
and the design of the fiber probe permitted 100% serviceability of all fiber probe components. React IR45M replaces the older React IR4000 system. With its temperature stabilized interferometer, React IR45M is ideal for long reactions and quantitative measurements and also supports dual DS AGX fiber probes for multiplexing, therefore increasing reaction monitoring efficiency. An extension to the DS probe technology is the DS microflow cell. With the integrated ATR sensor, either diamond or silicon, an RTD for measuring temperature, and heating, the DS microflow cell is the ideal in situ monitoring tool for continuous flow chemistry. Maximum sensitivity is achieved through the elimination of transfer optics, which allows the DS microflow cell to be used for very low concentration chemistries. Data to information modules are designed to provide valuable reaction information in a manner that is relevant and intuitive. Concert Pro focuses on simultaneous component analysis from multiple data sets or data sets from multiple spectroscopy techniques to yield the highest quality reaction component concentration over time. IC Kinetics makes use of React IR trends to generate reaction kinetic parameters such as rate equation, order of reaction, etc. Each of these packages are examples of methods in which React IR data are converted to enabling chemical information for the chemist. The first sealed React IR system that interfaces only to DS sampling technology was released. The sealed design eliminates the cumbersome purge requirement, and with the DS sampling interface integrated into the system, there is no alignment required. Simply plug in and measure.